God, there's a wall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't take out mother's wall. I'm just reversing down the drive past the staff quarters. <laughs> Yes, they live in the hedge. They are a family of thrushes. <laughs> you see, I thought they were people called Mr. and Mrs. Thrush, but actually they're little birdies. Charlotte. Now Charlotte Thrush. Ash. Can we go? Can we go that way? Yeah, if you want to. That's quite. That's quite laney and interesting. Mm. <laughs> laney and interesting. So anyway, mm. carpoolers. This is Charlotte Reaver, who mm. is really the only proper posh lady I've ever met in my life. She's proper. I just want to say so that people know that you did go to Cheltenham Ladies College, which when people ask about Cheltenham, that's what they think. It's incredible. It's ludicrously famous school for people who've never been, you know, the Eton. Yeah, people Cheltenham People have heard of Eaton, Harrow, <laughs> Cheltenham Ladies. I suppose Rodine, Rodine. maybe. Yeah. Okay. No, I think it's they've just got a good PR department. They must have. Must have. I mean, you've kicked against it, haven't you, a lot. I mean, that, you know, you come from that background yeah. where essentially you, you, you could by now be married to a merchant banker and have a big house in the Cotswolds and Absolutely. two children type of thing yeah. and wear green mullets and all that. And you do, I love that, I love that it's, it's so confusing for someone who doesn't, isn't quite sure what their social position is, me. Well, I, 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 think, I, think it's, I, I think it's fit. confusing. I mean, I, I, but I mean, you. I think you're the same in a sense. Yeah, it's absolutely. It's not absolutely cut and dry, it's is it? It's never, it's never cut and dry. And we've all got, you know, I think way back in in, in the Reef, the family, we were we we're linked to the Reavers, the Border Bandits. You know, kind of of um, of um, Northumberland right. and um, Scotland. So I quite like that. So yeah. Yeah, because we've got the Fenix in our family, and they were a bunch of bandits. No, I think. But what really confuses people in you know comedy and also. Um, in Gloucestershire, is, you know, I mean, on one, on one hand, I'm writing for the field, and the next, I'm doing like stand up, yeah. and they're like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. Really? <laughs> I think, but you know, it's like you, we we have a wry take on on the things around. Now, us. do we go to Exton, Colesbourne, Woodman Coat, or Sirencester? Uh, do you want to see where Tracy Bennett lives, the I, former I'd love to. record producer of, of London Records? Is your car stopped? Yeah, it does do that. Oh wow. <gasps> Oh, God. Oh, which way? Oh, I'm going okay, to go that way. Okay, wouldn't it? <laughs> I, I don't know who Tracy Bennett is. Clearly, I should know, because all it's you man, ever say to me man. is, do you know... <laughs> oh, is it a man? It's a man. He's called Tracy. Oh, no, we can't say that. <laughs> no, no, he really isn't. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's a man and he's called... Well, no, but you're not telling a lie. No, he is a man and he he's called Tracy. He is a man and he's called Tracy, and it's not at all amusing. All right. Um, it, yes, he doesn't think he it's was, funny. He, no, I don't, I don't know. I've never... Oh, blimey. What's happening in there? Yeah. No. The sun, that's a know. drugs deal. I think it's a big drugs deal. <laughs> it's a definite drugs deal. In the, that's a there's field a, there's deal. There's a lot of that going on they're, they're, here. they're picking up field gear. <laughs> 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 it's that dodgy field gear that you get hooks on out here. <laughs> there's a guy who opens the back of his car and it's full of green wellies yeah, exactly. and a load, one of those coats. Dries the bones. No, they're too low rent, aren't they? What are, Mm, no, you are maybe a barber, you a know, barber. because you know they're kind of aspirational. Yes. Hunters and barbers are, you know, they're kind of aspirational oh, products. I've just lovely. written a piece about wellies actually oh, for the field. There's now some that are space age, which oh. Eagle make, and um, <laughs> so let's see if I can get sponsorship. <laughs> Product placement. Uh, actually, I don't know. It's quite funny. The, the heads of Eagle are discussing whether I should be their brand, kind of like do, representative. Do it. Do it now. I think do I should be. What are they called? Um, Eagle. 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 A I G. G-L-E. A-E-I. A-I-G-L-E. A, a newer type of Wellington boot. That well, they, they have these ones that when your feet are cold, they yeah. warm up. And when your Ooh. feet are hot, they cool down. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, they said yeah. last year at the, um, the game fair, they had loads of people wearing wellies with their summer dresses because it, their feet were cooler and they could right. do that. Wow. Yeah, so that's wow. quite Eagles are one then. Eagle.com. Well, Eagle. <laughs> Go to eagles.com. <laughs> no, it's because I wore, I wore Eagle wellies on, on the cover of the field. and so, Well, they sent them to me. <laughs> Just to be able to drop that in. Let's see if you can drop that in more subtly. No, no, no. When I was on the cover of the field. <laughs> Now, for viewers who don't know what the field is, it's a very well-established hunt and shoot and hunting fishing. and shooting and fishing magazine. Yeah, it is. And Charlotte is soon to be on the cover. Yes, I'm a stalwart. Not like inside a little article, <laughs> some little thing like, "Ooh, Charlotte likes to shoot small birds." <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in a long tradition. Who of, lives there? Um, the Robins. <laughs> the Robins. No, no. Oh. No, it's the Murrays. The Murrays. The Murrays. Yeah, he, he used to write for the Telegraph. Oh. 
I was surprised. I would have expected him to write for socialist worker or <laughs> living in a house like that. In a massive, beautiful oh, mansion. Oh, you would be, you wouldn't, you, you oh, the people oh, who were socialist workers oh, are now, they've, oh, I know. there's no grace or cure for socialism for the money. Certainly, no. <laughs> You're so right. I mean, you should see the number of, like, former Labour politicians and Annabelles nowadays. No, because that's the other thing, and the other thing that fascinates me, okay, cl- the class thing, <clears> you know, as soon as I, when I first saw you, I just thought, God, she's mad as a cut snake. <laughs> For one. And two, she's posh as cut glass. <laughs> so it's cut snakes, cut glass. You know? <laughs> and then, but as soon as I talked to you, I went, God, this is that one of those people <laughs> where all my, you know, I've got my built-in old 70s lefties prejudices against the people that I, my neighbours that yeah. I live near, who've got double barrel names and went to Eton, who have been really nice. <laughs> Really good neighbours, really friendly, <laughs> not judgmental, yeah. haven't been snobby to me at all. All the snobisms come from me. It's been real. Bloody... Well, it's, it's it's a kind of it's a weird, almost London um, middle class kind of attitude. Yeah. Everyone in the countryside is posh yes. and they're awful and they're you know kind of animal killers and yeah. and just really kind of you know stuck up. And actually, the weird thing is that that the people who ha- you know kind of have these prejudices are more closed, narrow minded, yeah. you know, and it's and much more kind of self limiting and and also. In the countryside, we, we all mix in like through the classes far more than people do in yeah. London. You get, you know, you have people who are kind of ranting about these poshos in the country, and they're living in Islington. Yeah, where and they're then they double lock their, yeah. their bannums and yeah. and then get in their car and drive to the next safe middle class area yes. without seeing anyone in yeah. between. <laughs> and it's like that's crazy. And also, I mean, generations don't mix as much as they do in the country. Like that other no. the party that we were at the other night. You know, there's older people my, and my children. Gen- my, yeah, no. That, that, that does happen. Yeah. It does. It and does. I have contact with working class people in my village quite regularly. <laughs> oh, oh. Colesbourne? Yeah, we can get Colesbourne and then cut back. Oh, why? Don't know where we are at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Bathurst Arms. I think I might know this road. That's, that's the Thames there, beginning. Is it, actually is it called the Thames there though? It's not. Is no, that Windrush or the, I think it's or the called, yeah something like that? But it's actually. Is it the does... Windrush next to us? Oh, I don't oh, know. I don't know. We're not you good sh- on you should know all this. Oh, why? Because you have tramped <laughs> over it, blasting <laughs> the living daylights out of various game birds. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> <laughs> well, who, if one doesn't need to know the name of the river. <laughs> Well, no, sometimes a swollen brook like that can take many a bird yes. that you've shot and suddenly... Oh, how No, really, in Cornwall we lost, we must have lost about seven birds from the bag because they were they were taken down stream. And the great thing was that this is really... Don't the dogs run thing. in and get them though? The dogs did, there was one pregnant bitch. Watch the first Let's one. Let's see if I can get him. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant! That is priceless. <laughs> That's a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> but also, we can't pick it up because in common law, it's the only man. The, the, the driver behind can pick up what you run over, but you can't. It's illegal. It's because we have an organic legal system. Uh, wait a minute. If you run over a bird, you can't. It's illegal for you to pick it up and take it home and eat it. But the man behind you, the driver behind you, can. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, is that actually so? It's could you absolutely be, true. That is. You could actually be charged yeah. with an offence. There is a sort of written offence in the law that yeah. if you run over a bird and stop and pick it up. Yeah. There was the story about the brook, the swollen brook oh, yeah, in yeah. Cornwall, and so we we shot a few fezzies. And so <laughs> fezzies. I just want to point out to, readers, to viewers who may not know, fezzies isn't referring to a particular race of people, for instance. We no. shot a few fezzes. They came up over the hill with their funny headdresses on and we blasted them. And we shot for I, I do have an irony about everything, I must just say this. Like, you know, it amuses me as much as anyone. anyone. Oh, we're being overtaken. No, that's fine. One no. accepts that. When one reaches my age, in a prior. And one doesn't have a car that would burn anything off the road like I used to have, then one accepts that people overtake and it's quite fine. It's nice. It's, I feel like I'm going for a little ride out. Yes. You know, like a little elderly yes, ride out. Yes, it is. Out. It's a little Sunday afternoon yes, drive because so now we have a massive queue of cars behind us, which I really like. I do. Really, really angry ones. Really angry people in Mercedes. I'd like to say we're going 46 miles oh, an hour. All, yeah, 46. I always thought that the, for, for me, I'm not joking when I first started driving. We are doing 61.3 miles to the gallon. <gasps> I only do 27 miles to the gallon. My golf. I say nothing. But I did have it tuned up. 
Oh my god, we've been overtaken more times than my whole life. <laughs> oh my god, they get so long. All beamers. No, but actually, the thing is that the fact that I've saved that much petrol for the world yes. has all been used up by people yeah. overtaking me <laughs> many times over. So yeah. that does prove so that Jeremy causing, Clarkson is right yeah. and the price is a rubbish. You're, you're, you're causing more trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm actually causing smug more. Bastard. Yeah, I'm smugly causing more global warming. <laughs> Than there would needs to be. The other thing, no, the other thing that I wanted you yeah. to say so that we can then explain it, that you can't, there's a term that you can use quite legitimately in the shooting fraternity, yes. which you use to explain to me the picture on the front of the field magazine. Now, can you say what that is? Yes. <laughs> now, on the, uh, on the cover of the field, um, <laughs> I am taking a cock from a bitch's mouth. Like, give me back the cock, bitch. And I'm wearing picking up gear. <laughs> lovely um yes and of course it's a pheasant cock and it's a labrador bitch but i am genuinely wearing picking up gear and they're taking a cock from a bitch's yeah, mouth yeah i'm it's taking just a cock thing. from a bitch's mouth no, no, but you could you say uh, excuse me could you hold my cock or you know yeah. where's my cock has anyone seen my cock i mean you could say to someone yeah, excuse me can you hold yeah, my cock uh, yeah yeah no, i've had that before the, yeah, it means obviously like you know you so you're saying it with with you know you know naughtiness and my oh name. i see there is a certain <laughs> amount of double entendre Absolutely. awareness there is a level where the British upper classes are the kinkiest bunch yeah. of fuckers in the world, oh, isn't that? Yeah. I mean, you know, that, that, and it's all that double entendre, yeah. smutty stuff. Absolutely. Who, um, um, wow! Wow, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> the brakes, even though it's a Prius, Prius, the brakes do he really, work. He went really shocked, he was like, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's well done. Lovely. I like a bit of rushing water and a bit yeah, of lakey thing. It's nice. It's a nice feature, isn't it? It's a lovely feature. Lovely feature. Have you ever shot anything in that lake? No. no. <laughs> yeah, fish. Yeah. I don't fish, I like to shoot. <laughs> it's just I've just been landed with the speech impediment for a really good education. <laughs> Well, I'd just like to say, Charlotte Reeve, thank you very much. Probably well, it's my pleasure. <laughs> and don't forget to check your Wellingtons. Eagle.co.uk or .com. <laughs>